busted out my original Xbox last night because I had this urge to play Panzer Dragoon. That is a pretty good game. Also, it's a game that I regret selling. It's one of those games that I was like, oh, I'll never need to play this again. So I sold it. So last night I downloaded an ISO of it. Don't judge me, please. So I've started doing 1.8 miles because I just added a little bit to my route and I did 1.8 miles in nine minutes and 56 seconds. 331 seconds per mile, five minutes and 30.6 seconds a mile. I remember last year I was doing like 548 for one mile. I've also moved up to 25 push-ups, which are very difficult by the way. Anyways, that's not really what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is this song, Weight of the World from the ending of Nier that I talked about in my video yesterday. I could die a happy person if I make a song myself that moves me in the same way that this song moves me. I don't think I've talked about it on the vlog before, but my definition of a good song is when it makes me go like this. And you get that scrunched up look on your face and you ball your fist. Like that's the type of music that I like the most. I call it like the struggle. It's like this, it's basically just like, It's like all that cheesy inspirational music where you can achieve the impossible. That's my favorite. By far, I love it. And I can't get enough of this song. Today I'll be hanging out with Brendan. We will be playing Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. I'm very much looking forward to this. That is a great game. Okay, that was good times. We went from level 17 in Final Fantasy XII to level 29, which is like 12 levels. They had this new fast forward feature where you can speed up the game four times the speed. Once you get used to it, it's awesome because you can just like plow through enemies. Now, to those of you who don't play Final Fantasy XII, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But for those of you who do, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but Ilyena, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm gonna have my characters maxed out in, in no time. Watch, check out that moon. Anyways, it's just before midnight. I feel like I can actually get to bed fairly soon. Go to sleep early. It's a good day. Okay, so I haven't shown you what I've done with my living room surround sound setup. Let me show you right now. Pretty sure I've talked about these huge ones before. I bought these in high school. These are like 250 watt monsters that honestly, like they're not the most detailed speakers. They don't have like a very crisp sound, but these two bad boys provide, like you can just hear the bass right now. That's just me tapping it. Some of the tightest, like thickest, punchiest bass. It's awesome. So to remedy that, I got this nice, mica center channel speaker that mica speakers are just so crystal clear like i found out about them from the internet there's this dude on reddit named zeos he reviews all sorts of headphones and speakers and stuff what i like about him is that he's very um non-technical and he doesn't get caught up in a lot of the audiophile like garbage of like getting into such minutia of like what bit rate is better and like does gold cable matter all this stuff it's just like Look, let's do the things that make the most difference, like changing the speaker. Then I got this Yamaha receiver, which is actually, it seems quite nice. It's got lots of inputs, so I don't have to switch stuff around all the time. It has surround sound, it sounds great. Titanfall 2, I played yesterday. I think I mentioned this, but it was like a war, which by the way, go see Dunkirk. Holy crap, I haven't talked about Dunkirk yet. Uh, I'll talk about Dunkirk tomorrow, but absolutely, you must see it. 
if you have any interest in the power of cinema, like an actual movie theater and how it can transport you to another world. It's not violent, which is strange to say. It's like, it's not like super gory. It is violent, it's not gory. So it's not like Saving Private Ryan where guts are flying out everywhere, but it's an amazing experience. And, and just like, I don't know, I feel like they need to show it to people who want to start wars and be like, is this what you want? Do you want to be in this? And if you do, go find somewhere else to do it. Don't do it with us. It's like, why do people start wars and why do people always want to tell other people what to do? It's like, when has that ever worked out for good? When somebody's told somebody else what to do? Ugh. Okay, actually that's gonna do it for today's vlog. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow.